it's Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media. I'm here in Dubai for Break Bulk Middle East. It's our opening day, and I am thrilled to have Julian Skirm in the uh, studio with me, commercial director for Abu Dhabi Ports Group. Uh, he opened this morning's welcome session with so much news. So I'm hoping that we're going to get um, some of the highlights from him and learn more about uh, Abu Dhabi Port's recent expansion and where they're going in the future. Thank you very much for the uh, introduction. And uh, Once again, you know, I'd like to say how proud we are to actually join Breakbelt Middle East in the 2023 event. Um, for the AD Ports Group, this is a, an enormous, um, can, I, can I say, appreciation of how the industry has grown. We've come out of a difficult period, let's be honest, of the last two years from the pandemic. And AD Ports Group is just so, how can I say, enthused and looking forward to, to a very bright future. Uh, for us today, we announced some key kind of landmarks in, in the evolution of our organization over the last two years. But what can beat the inauguration uh, on 12-12-22 of Khalifa Port Southkey and Khalifa Port Logistics, where His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed and Akhyan actually inaugurated our facility and I think if you look at the key accomplishments in 2022 we've just basically finalized the capacity expansion of over six kilometers of new infrastructure and superstructure in Khalifa ports we had some wonderful news on the first uh, uh, inauguration of a transshipment hub for wood pulp so there's many things actually happening in 80 ports that's not to, f to forget the international interest that we are now spreading our wings um, all of these th uh, things combined, I think, t uh, lends towards the feeling that Abu Dhabi Ports, 80 Ports Group, you know, uh, really are multi-purpose terminal operators. We specialize not just in container, but general cargo, brake bulk, in Roro. So, you know, we are very confident of the, the years ahead. We're sharing this morning, so that's good. No, that is exciting news, and I think it's very exciting that um, you're starting to branch out beyond the UAE. I think that's exciting. I know that that will be of interest to the Break Bulk and Project Cargo community. So, but let's come back to the UAE and tell me um, what's your take on the project outlook for the next, let's say, year or two. I'd like to say we're very confident without revealing too many details up to our friendly competitors. But if you just look at the, uh, our testament to that belief that we are, you know, we, we believe we turned that corner, um, you look towards the Al Dafa region, Magarak port. We've just invested over 200 million dirhams in upgrading the facility. It's a purpose built facility for the oil and gas sector, right in the epicenter of the offshore fields. So we are very confident that the project outlook is, is, is on the up. There's a number of projects that are either in the tendering stage or being announced. Uh, we also received our first international vessel in Magarak Port in 2022, part of the wind farm project. So we are quietly confident, but obviously keeping the information to ourselves. Well, we can all appreciate that, but it's so exciting to see the diversity that everyone has talked about. Oh my gosh, since the beginning of Break Bulk Middle East when we first started in Abu Dhabi eight years ago, that was a big topic and I think now we're finally seeing that happen. I'm glad you actually mentioned that because traditionally when, you know, the, the, as you mentioned, the actual show started off in Abu Dhabi. We just see that as an evolution that's now in Dubai. For us, it's still in the UAE. What better flat platform we have at our host here in Dubai for a wonderful event. Um, and as you mentioned by it, it's so diversified. And you know, it's one of the core principles at AD Ports Group is you know we, we like to look beyond the traditional um, terminal operations. Um, and going forward, like, like I mentioned earlier, you know, our, we will spread our wings and you know announce more projects internationally, hopefully. to hear all and share all of your news. It's very exciting and I want to thank you for spending the time with us this morning.